Hi, my name is Mimi and welcome to my channel Untwisted where I share tips and tricks to help you simplify your natural hair care routine. Um, today I was going to talk about how to gently blow out natural hair and um, this kind of lazy blowout I did and got these. I really like this, how this came out. Um, but I started out wanting to blow out my hair and ended up with this um, lazy blowout Bantu knot out style. Um, yeah, so let's discuss what products you should use and how to prepare for a blowout on natural hair at home. Um, so the first thing you want to do is when I looked online, it's like why do salons, you know, how do they get your hair so sleek? Now I'm not saying by any means my hair is as sleek as it would be at a salon. But one of the things I looked up is like, how do salons get your hair so, you know, sleek, shiny, and bouncy? And the first thing that you need to do is thoroughly cleanse your hair. Um, I mean, don't just, you know, use a sulfate, feel free, feel free to use a sulfate free shampoo. However, cleanse your hair, work it into your scalp, work it down the strands, and get your hair squeaky clean so that the products can do their job. That is what apparently salons do, the first step in the process, to getting shiny, bouncy hair. So that's what I did. Um, I used my sulfate-free shampoo. I went in at the roots, and you know I worked it down the hair, and I did it in the sections just to make sure that all my hair was clean. Um, the next step I do um, is I use a very nourishing conditioner. So I use one of those natural conditioners that don't have any sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, um, you know, mostly natural ingredients. I use a conditioner like that um, on my hair in the shower. Now this is where I got a little lazy because I didn't want to get out, get in and out the shower five times. Um, so I put that in and let that do its thing while I took care of some other things in the shower. Um, once that was done, um, the next step is important too. You want to condition with silicones. Now I'm all about natural products. I'm all about, you know, staying away from certain ingredients on a regular basis. But if you want your hair to kind of stretch out and look different in this natural state, then you need to do some less than natural things. Um, so what I did was I used a deep conditioner that was like full of silicones um and again this style would have probably turned out better if i would have got out the shower and applied some heat onto it again but this was like a lazy blowout for me so i stayed in the shower i rinsed the good conditioner out and then i went back in and put on the um the silicone laden deep conditioner um apparently this is used in some dominican hair salons and Everybody with every hair type will leave out this Dominican hair salon looking dope. So I went with the cones. Um, cones also help protect your hair from heat damage um, since we're going to be using a blow dryer. So you want to shampoo, cleanse your hair thoroughly. Two, go in and deep treat. Don't follow me because I was being lazy. But if I were to deep treat, like some of my hair feels a little bit rough. Um, if I would have got out the shower and deep conditions, my hair would have came out like at least five times better. So um, I highly recommend if you have the time, you get out deep condition with um, silicones and really let those work into your hair. And uh, the next step to getting a successful natural hair blowout at home would be to follow up with a leave-in conditioner and a heat protecting. Again, both the leave-in conditioner I used was pretty heavy on the cones and both, and the leave-in condition, I mean, and the most heat protectants, I don't know, probably all heat protectants have some kind of silicone in it because they're gonna leave a thin film on your hair that's gonna help protect your hair from damage. Um, the one I use, again, is one that I believe is used in Dominican salons. I mean, they keep their stuff secret. Everything's in a spray bottle, a bowl. Like, they don't show you product labels at all. So I remember being on the forums and Curly Nikki's website, and that's the only reason I heard that these are the type of products they use at their salons. Um, and again, I was being lazy, so I ended up only blow drying the roots 
and then using a bantu knot to uh, kind of finish out smoothing the curls. So again, the most important steps for a natural hair blowout are one, thoroughly cleanse the hair, two, apply a very nourishing conditioner, follow it up with a conditioner that has silicones that will help protect your hair and smooth the cuticle. Um, number four is follow that up with leave-in and heat protectant to complete the style. So now that you have your hair all set up the way it needs to be, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the blow dryers that work for me. Um, so I used one of these regular blow dryers. What I do like to have is the heat setting. So there's a heat setting, there's a high, low, an on, off, and a high, medium, and low speed. Um, I do like these for blowing out my hair because what I will do is, I will start on medium heat while it's wet and then increase the heat, um, then increase the heat to kind of smooth it out. And then at the very end, I try to do it, I don't always remember. If you do a cold shot, that's gonna help smooth the cuticle, close the cuticle, because heat raises the cuticle, cold air closes it. So you smooth it out and you close it and seal it and that's supposed to help your hair stay shiny. Um, Again, like I'm not an expert, but these are just tips I wanted to share because people out here is promoting like $400 blow, $400 blow dryers and $500 flat irons. And honestly, if you're like me and you don't heat style that often and you just want a, you know, a cute, more sleek style than you normally get from a regular twist out, so you want to put a little bit of heat on there like a few times a year, you don't need a $400 blow dryer and you don't need a $500 flat iron. Um, and also one tool that I started using is the straightening brush. So what it is, it's not electronic at all. It's just like a regular brush that has some bristles in it. Um, and this helps me get a nice tension on my hair. Um, so I pretty much used it to add tension to the hair while I blow dry it. And that helped get my roots like pretty straight. Like again, I gave up on trying to get my hair bone straight a long time ago. It doesn't really look right. Um, my hair is, it has a very coarse texture to it. And one time I let somebody straighten my hair and I got heat damage and it still wasn't bone straight. So I like it like to be kind of smooth, but not bone straight. And like, yeah, this look works for me. I wish I would have did the Bantu knots a little bit bigger so it would have fell a little bit more. But overall, this is a really cute style. And the reason I called it a lazy blowout is because I was doing it. It was like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I was tired. Um, I just kind of wanted to get it over with. And the ends of my hair weren't coming out that smooth. So I decided to just focus on the roots to the mid shaft. And then Bantu knot it to kind of seal the ends in. Um, so I'll show you guys that footage. But overall, I washed it. Again, please do not be in these streets buying a $400 blow dryer and a $500 flat iron to do your natural hair, especially if you only do it once or twice a year. And this technique will help you achieve the looks you want at home. Um, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out a few more of my channels and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, so it's the next day and I slept with these bantu knots in my hair. Um, and I am super excited to see how this turns out. Um, so let's do it.